Welcome guys, my name is Aryush, and this is a crazy good looking Android 13 ROM. It gives looks and customization of Oxygen OS 13. After using it for the last 7 days, I can say it's a great ROM for daily usage plus. Gaming. So, guys, the name of this ROM is Nusantara OS version 5.8. It's based on Android 13, and I am using the latest version of this ROM. It's a system X based ROM and enforcing build. So, for flashing this ROM, make sure to use the latest System X TWRP recovery, whose link is in the description. Now, the first thing I enjoyed in this ROM is its fresh looks and UI experience. I absolutely love the UI and its customizations. The second thing I like very much in this ROM is its four different spoofers. Here, I can get 90 FPS in gaming, unlimited Google Photos, Netflix spoofing, and CTS. Profiles spoofing too. With CTS profile spoofing, I can use my banking apps more easily in this ROM, and it supports all banking apps. There are lots of other customizations too in the status bar, but my favorite customization is its Oxygen OS 13 looks. Now, apart from all these cool customizations, this ROM also provides a good gaming experience too. With the latest No Gravity 4. 4 kernel, my CPU throttle scores are 241,000 plus with 95% of max CPU throttle. I did not do Antutu test, cause the latest version of Antutu can't be trusted for. Accurate scores. For gaming in PUBG and the latest BGMI, I tested this combo in the latest Luna map and in Bootcamp 2. I got stable 60 FPS in Luna map, and in Bootcamp, my FPS was pretty stable too. Not that many fluctuations happened. Now, talking about touch, battery backup, and heating, touch response is good with the latest NGK kernel. If you are facing any touch issues in your device, then switch to the latest 10.3. 7 touch drivers version of NGK kernel. For heating, I would say my device heated up to 4 to 5 degrees Celsius above my room. Temperature. It means if your room temperature is 36 degrees Celsius, your device will heat up to 40 to 41 degrees Celsius. For battery backup, I get 9 hours of screen on time in this combo with normal usage like YouTube and editing, etc. And 3 hours of gaming with 100% battery. So, guys, this is one of those kinds of ROMs which you can use as your daily driver and as a gaming ROM too. So, guys, I hope you like this video. If you enjoy such content, then make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and enjoy. FPS test.